Okay, so this next game that I'm going to be playing is called Moss. It's an example of how VR can be used to play third-person games. So you completely control the mouse, um, and then you can use your hands as almost like a godlike being to help with some of the puzzles. Alright, so this is Moss. This looks awesome in 3D. I'm sitting here at the table here. I've got my two hands that are little balls. If I press the triggers, they do that. And then I press the triggers to open the book. All right. So I'm going to show the intro Your video time here. Has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Whoa. Okay. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. So you're seeing this in 2D, but this is completely in 3D, and it looks like I'm playing, like I'm in like a 3DS game almost. Quill was out oh, adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. This is like an incredible looking forest. You can interact with the different leaves and grass. It's 
a bird. Bird. Get the fuck out of here. Don't worry, Quill. I got you. No reflection yet. Quill's got a little sack. That's so cute. Oh, it's she me. She was not exactly sure hey. why she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. <laughs> Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Okay, so now I control Quill. So, I can control Quill using this stick right here on my left hand. And Quill still looks at me. Oh, look, a ladybug, Quill. Hey, Quill. I can, like, pet Quill. Oh. <laughs> so I can also, uh, on the right uh, hand, I have a jump button for platforming. And swing sword. So that's my reflection down there. And that's Quill. <laughs> and yeah, everything is in 3D, which is, like, indescribable. Like, I cannot describe how cool this is. So I'm completely controlling Quill. I do not control myself. My, I just kind of teleport into the next area. Oh, there's butterflies. As you can see, this is the entire new area here. And Quill comes in from over there. All this grass here. So Quill can swipe grass kind of like Zelda. Ooh, Hedge Knight. Nice. Got an achievement for that. Uh, don't go too close to the water there, Quill. What else we got under here? Anything else? So this is something that, for instance, Quill cannot move on her own. So Quill's platforming over there. Okay. Quill is super cute. Okay. Jump across. Now this is something that I physically move myself. So I grab it, pull it in close to me. Yeah. And then Quill can jump over. And run off in that direction. All right, so we got a new log up here. All this stuff around here. So again, I'm I'm not controlling myself. That's me. I'm like a god in this forest or a spirit. I am completely controlling Quill. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred Move the stories over. of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. And see, one of the cool things about controlling something in VR in third person is I can still control things with my hands separately. So that's like a completely separate form of control. And it's also like so much dimensionality to everything. Like I can get right in here and like look in at stuff. Like get right in at Quill and say hello, and like look around the different. Uh, like I can look what's back there, all that kind of stuff. Achievement unlocked. I'm not scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I getting too close to you? Wait, wait. I was getting you too close. Uh, okay. Let's bring this back over here. Quill can jump around there. And down the log. Okay. Alright. Got bells chiming on that little village over there. That's really cute. Over my left shoulder. Some boxes. Here comes Quill. Alright. 
Let's jump down here and check out these boxes, Quill. Got something. What else can I interact with? Let's go, Quill. Knock some of these boxes, too. Barrels. looks like the entrance gate. Can I ring the bell? No. Oh, nice jump. I think the white around the side there kind of indicates that I can jump up there, but first I'm going to hit all these. Oh wait, can I? Ah, well that makes it easier. Let's see if I can get up here though. I feel like Quill can get something up there. Yeah, jump up Quill, and then... No, maybe it's not that way. Oh yeah, up here. Well done. All right. Nice. Boing. The music is very sweet too. Oh, and look, look at all the little houses on the stumps. That's adorable. There's smoke coming out of the chimney. Who's this? Is a guard? Are they friendly? I guess so. This is so cute. Jimin unlocked the clearing. Oh, he's fishing. <laughs> Look at these little ones. This is so cute. Hello there, friend. <laughs> All right, so I guess there's multiple paths now. Oh, maybe not. Can't go out this way. So this really does feel like I'm playing through like living storybook pages, which is pretty awesome. Alright. Do 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 Okay, I see what you're doing here. So I gotta work with Quill here. Okay, there. Hop on. And then... I'm slowing it down right now with my finger. And... No, I missed it. I'm sorry, Quill. Alright, speed it up. Damn. Okay. There you go, Quill. Speed up a bit, slow down. Okay, awesome. In terms of 3D platforming, this is like game changing. Like, like if I could play Mario 64 like this, that would be insane. No, door doesn't open. Oh wait, there was a scroll there. Psst, 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 psst. 
I don't actually know what the scrolls do yet. Maybe just collectibles. This forest is amazing now. Oh, tiptoeing. Okay. Slow it down. There we go. Oh, Quill can do that lever for me. Thank you. There we go. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Oh no. No, Quill. I hope it's just kinda like no big deal. Yeah, okay. It's just like you just got lost for a second. You're back. You're okay. I'm not completely traumatized by that entire action. Okay. Jump down here. There you go. Sorry about that. Oh, she I do not like that. She raced to the door that. of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Oops. All right. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. <laughs> Quill, I've told you countless times. Turn on lock stuff on there. Quill replied, crestfallen. Those must be the I didn't mean to worry you. Scrolls. But I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? That's me. Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But of course you would. Reader you would obviously chosen. want me. These pages have like weight Even to them. The, moon, the haptic feedback and, and the sound. I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word <laughs> you will not right leave the, the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Whoa. This place is cool. This is like the inside of the house? Yeah. Went. I can show you. 
You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. I don't trust that light. Quill called out. Hey, Starling, wait! I'm gonna protect you, Quill, don't worry. Let's see what's upstairs. Anything up here? Yeah, sweet. Quill had never met a starving. So crazy. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Can I open this door? There we go. Quill demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Is it up in here? There's got to be something in here. Something underneath here. Guess not. your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of me all right watch out quill place seems sketchy. This way, kid, urged the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Are we going? Well. here <laughs> oops oh no uh 
just come back, right? Yeah, okay. Just gotta wash the water off. Impassable mire. Just gotta be really careful. Is that an axe? Cool. Damn it. Oh, there's a scroll over there. Okay. I'm sorry for dropping you in the water again, Quill. I'm gonna be more careful this time. And jump. Oh, that's a deer really close. I didn't get the, sc the scroll in the last area, did I? I just realized I gotta go back. Go back a page. And I'm gonna call it quits after I get that scroll. How do I get in there? GTFO, yep, GTFO, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna call it quits there, but this was amazing. There's another scroll right in front of me here. Um, so this is an example of how third person games can be played in VR and it really works well. Like, if you've ever played a fixed camera game, it's like, there you go. <laughs> it's like taking that to 30 new levels. Alright, after I get out of this. Although this does look like it's going to be the end of something. Just on the other side is the Maya, the Starling assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. All right. Cool. Taking a raft across the Maya. Oh, here they come. Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. That thing sketches me out. Pretty sure it's a bad guy. But this swamp is amazing, and I'm really psyched about Quill here. Right as I say that. No problem. I didn't know I could do that. I guess if you get hurt, I can pick you up. <laughs> Alright, well, Quill is really cute, but I'm going to call it quits there. Good night, everyone, and good night, Quill.